It's 20 years since a brutal civil war in Tajikistan came to an end. Up to 100,000 people were killed in the conflict that pitted government forces against an Islamist insurgency. Many more people were injured, including Iskander Aliyev, a journalist who now works for RFERL's Tajik service. It was first day of the conflict, it was May 1992. We just were interested to see what's going on. We come to the epicenter of that fighting and we get wounded. How did you get wounded? I got several bullets. I think it was Kalashnikov. I was transported to clinic and I was happy that a uh, friend of mine, very close friend of my school, who was surgeon, who recognized me and he got me to operation and it was good. And when you were recovering in hospital, <laughs> Other people were coming in with wounds. What were they telling you? Most of the people, most of the victims were people who had nothing to do. Civilian people who just were wounded because they were in, sitting in that street where this fighting happened. So how did they view what was going on in their country, in their city at that time? At the beginning it was, you know, something like a um, funny event. Everybody was interested to see what's going on. but. By time, everybody hated war. Nobody wanted to continue because we just were losing and losing and losing. Countries were shutting down their borders. Ties, economic ties were cutting off. Tajikistan depends on supply of, for example, at that time especially, it was supply of bread, supply of wheat, supply of uh, fuel, and everything ended. And it was very bad time. And that's why everybody wanted to be in peace, wanted to end of this conflict. But it lasted five years. It lasted five years, but uh, finally we got that peace agreement in 1997. And what now is the legacy of all this? Peace, we have peace. But if we will say about what we built, there are lots of questions. First of all, uh, we see problems with opposition. This opposition Islamic party was accused of supporting terrorism as shut, yeah, shut down. Now it does not exist. Its activists are arrested. And other people who could leave the country now uh, are in Europe, in uh, other countries asking for asylum. And uh, this is uh, also legacy of war, we could say. Iskander Aliyev, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you us. very much.